Welcome to 3 Minute Pro. This is the Hasselblad 500cm which was made between 1970 and 1994. It's probably the most famous medium format film camera in the world. I'm going to be covering the different parts of the camera and also how to load film and take pictures. This model is in superb condition so I'm adding a link to the eBay listing if you wish to buy it. The 500cm is a medium format camera. It takes 12 pictures on a roll of 120 film. Each picture is 6 by 6 cm square. You don't have to remove the film back in order to load a roll of film. Twist this lever here and lift out the film holder. This spool is from the last roll of film that you used. You need to move that round to the other side. So pull it out and replace it in here. Now put the new roll of film where the old spool was this way up. Pull it across the backing plate and loosen that backing plate off so you can tuck the backing paper underneath it just there and then tighten it up. Now you need to make sure you get the backing paper looped through here fully and start to roll start to wind it on using this little cog here. Keep winding until this black arrow on the film matches up with the delta on there. You can see that the backing paper is still tight under this catch here. Now push it back into there and turn. The camera's loaded. Next, on the other side, you pull this catch open and wind it through until it stops. You need to make sure that both of these have the same colour. As that's red and this is white, you can see the camera needs to be wound on one frame so that they match. So just remove the back and wind on a frame. And you can see you've got white to white and you're ready to take pictures. This is the dark slide which protects the film so that you can remove the back without exposing it. You need to remove that dark slide in order to take a picture. Let's take the viewfinder off so we can get a better idea of what the shutter cocking mechanism looks like when you're taking pictures. So remove the film back and slide that off. Put the film back on and you can see what's going on through the camera now. I've added a new focusing screen. You can fit focusing screens from the latest model uh, Hasselblad digital cameras onto the 500cm. This is much sharper and clearer than the old screen. So if you wind the film on, you can see that resets the mirror and you can see through the viewfinder. And then when you take the picture, Having remembered to remove the dark slide, you can see the mirror remains locked up. On the lens, you can see the focusing ring. This is the 80mm 2.8. And you can see that the shutter speed and aperture seem to be joined together. This is very clever. If you pull this catch down, it allows you to move the aperture ring and you line it up according to your light meter with the exposure setting that you've read from your light meter. Now once you've got that exposure locked you can move and you can see a 250th at f16 is the same as a 125th at f22 which is the same as a 500th at f11. So as you move through you can see you can easily change the depth of field. 
The shutter release is at the bottom here and if you move that to the other setting T you get a self timer. Here's the wind on lever. This is the lens release button here. You press that in and turn to remove the lens. You won't be able to remove the lens unless the shutter is cocked. You can see the shutter speeds go all the way up to a 500th of a second. This model has the pentaprism viewfinder so you can take pictures at uh, the same height as your head without having to take them through a waist level viewfinder that you look down through. Many different film backs are available. This one is the standard 6 by 6 centimeter that takes 12 pictures on 1 to 0 film. This one here, for instance, is the A16S, which takes a strange 4 by 4 centimeter picture, which was apparently what was called super slide film back in the day. The Hasselblad is a superb piece of kit for taking medium format photographs. You have to think much more about your photography when using this camera because of its many eccentricities. For instance, nearly everything you do, such as looking through the viewfinder and changing the lens, require you to cock the shutter. However, the results are superb with very fine grain and the lens is super sharp. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe.